Uh, all right, we're back. So, um, party, that encounter happened at the end of your travel that day. Mm -hmm. uh, set up camp. Watch rotations. Uh, I'll take first, I guess. Yeah. I guess fire in the middle. Sure. No, I'll do the other right. one. I'm going to eat some brains, though. <laughs> Oh, good call. Um, let me look at. I'm gonna Manticore tell the boys around the, around the campfire here while we're talking. Mm -hmm. This this may be the only thing that stops whatever it is. So I'm going to unabashedly see breaking eat up for brains all the time. Okay. Not exactly. Uh, yeah, I'll get a little bit weirded out because I'll probably go to like shop his head off for a trophy. Mm -hmm. Then I'll notice him like going to the same direction. It was like, oh, you're gonna eat its brains? I like. I have no idea what these things are, so I'm just like, <laughs> I guess this is normal. Can I get a piece? Sure, go for it. I'll look between them as. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> Swift Bear, did you find the? Uh, did you find the boy? Oh yes, the boy. And the camels. Yeah. And the camels. I guess I I go out there and search for them oh, before no. we set up camp. Um, it took you some time, but you found them. Okay. They were several hundred yards away, hiding behind a large dune. Come with me, small boy. Um, so you have one brown orb right now. Mm -hmm. And you, you consume four manticore brains, yes? Three. We only killed three. Ah, no, yeah, you bested four, but you killed three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so... Let's use math. Does he have to eat the whole brain? Because like a halfling eating like these, I assume to be large manticore brains. Is he like gorging himself? Is he like super obese on brain fat? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just tell you, I got the protein shits. They're really a fucking rock salad. <laughs> like, please, just one more thought noodle. <laughs> Turns out I only have to eat one part. Yeah. Eat I can't thing. possibly eat more brains. Uh, keep fucking. Please, great old one, don't make me eat more brains. Just give me a probably more spell so I can turn into a mind flare and make this easier. Yeah, really. <laughs> okay. I just have charts for all this shit, so I have to make sure I have it right. Uh, excellent. You fill another orb. This orb, orb number two, let me write it down right now. Uh, orb number one is brown. Orb number two, the one you're just filling up now, is purple. Ooh, pretty. Um, and you see orb number three begin to glow, um, but only temporarily, which you know is the sign that it's feeding, but has not fully fed. <clears throat> okay. Good, so, good, my child. One, so one brown, one purple, <clears throat> and the rest are just black. Okay. Um. Just want to double check. So oh, you love it. So sweaty. You <laughs> love it. Uh, actually. I forgot. Uh, it's not. They're not all black. The third one is blue, which is a partially filled. Yeah. Forgot about that. Blue is partially filled. So one is blue. Okay. Um. Yeah. I was just trying to see if I had written it anywhere that you had to eat the whole brain or not. I'll get back to you on that. I think it might. Be a section of it, but I'm not 
It's been yeah. a while since I wrote this. Um. Um. Shit. We've got like five dead alpaca. Right. <laughs> Should I just eat their brains too while I'm at it, I guess? I mean. Sure. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Can't let them go to waste. Good meat. Right. Yeah, why use our provisions when we got no pack of meat? Yeah, I guess. We're, looks like meat's back on the menu, boys! <laughs> I wonder if he can, like, pickle it. Mm. Just save it for later. Yeah. Pickle in case he does have to eat the whole thing. <laughs> um, yeah, you do have to eat the whole thing. Oh my god. What? So. <laughs> <laughs> you, you really have been gorging yourself. Uh, you ate a lot of brain just now. A I, lot of brain. Alright, I don't think I can eat more. I don't think I can eat five alpaca brains as well. <laughs> That's a little... Uh... <laughs> you might want to save it for later. Do they have to be raw or can they be cooked? I don't think you ever tried to cook it. It's true. Can you turn it into jerky? We could preserve some of the alpaca brain, brain jerky. Mm. Um. Next thing you know, I'm gonna be wandering around the desert with jars full of brains and pickling <laughs> liquid. Right. Um. To refill, blah, blah blah. You must consume the brains of living or recently deceased creatures. So you have to consume brains of creatures that have been dead no longer than 24 hours. So that's the only reason that you wouldn't want to wait too long, but you could wait, you know, like 16 hours or something. No. Brain's not going to decompose or get too gross by then. Especially well, sit down in the desert heat. Keep it in the old nature. It's still edible. Yeah, it's still edible. It's not going to be. Yeah, yeah. Smoke <laughs> it for a little bit. <laughs> Just put it on a campfire. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I know. Uh, uh, do so you... At least set to getting the brains out. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to get the brains out and. Okay. Fuck it, they're just alpaca brains. They're not that useful anyway, so I'll just um. I'm just gonna cook them. Because okay. I mean that will make them not be really gross after sitting out in the desert all day and night. Right. So how many brains do we have from alpaca? Five. Oh man. It's, it killed all brains. of them except one, right? No, they killed all of them, didn't they? No. But there was one left. No, one survived. Oh, one alpaca survived? Oh, shit. Yep. So four alpaca brains. It's actually really good, so the boy has someone to ride on. <laughs> this kid's, like, traumatized. Like, I just wanted to make some bread money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kid, you haven't seen shit yet. It's all down here from all yeah. downhill from here, Morty. <laughs> <clears throat> we got nine more seasons to this, Morty. Um, <laughs> um, let's go. Right. <laughs> At some point, like the next day or something, you eat the brains, right? Like yeah, within yeah. twenty four hours. I'll, I'll eat them tomorrow. Yeah. I'm just gonna add them to your total. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It does seem like it works. Awesome. So you don't have to be eating like a savage. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Can I make an? Can I make an attempt to? Did I notice throughout the fight that these things have like poison inside their barbs? You were hit by them a number of times, and you have not suffered any symptoms of poison. All right, I wouldn't have any reason to much, think that. How much do they weigh? Because I caught that one and I put it in my pocket. Caught what? A barb? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Neg they're negligible. Okay. No, it's like a large. I mean, it's a large, hollow needle. It doesn't weigh too much, though. Alright. Can I make an in check to see the fact that it's a needle? And can I surmount that it would probably, might have some type of poison? You can try. Alright. That doesn't work. I'm probably not going to metagame this anymore. Let's see. That would be, what, our investigation or arcana? Or just straight intelligence? It, uh, investigation, I suppose. Okay. Uh, you're fairly confident they're non-poisonous creatures. Alright. 
Then perhaps, I'm just going perhaps to. Perhaps they were supposed to be before the experiment was finished or something, but alas. All right. I'm going to take some rope, chop off their heads, and have it dragged behind the camels as they walk. Okay. Um, I suppose I'll, their wings would probably be pretty neg negligible weight, probably like five pounds each. The what? Wings. The wings. Uh, yeah, sure. You gonna take the wings? There you go, Clark. There's your tent. Three pairs of wings. Put that on my camel. No, no, I would say five pounds for each one. For each animal. For each yeah. wing. Yeah. Okay. Because they're, lar so, I mean, they're large-sized creatures. They have massive wings to be able to fly a large-sized creature. So they're definitely not negligible. And they are draconic wings. So, uh, no. Which alpaca survived, by the way? Good question. Let me answer it. If I can find the page where the combat happened. Mm -hmm. I have do have so many pages. As I have so many friends. Uh, which alpaca survived? The one with 9 HP, which is... Is that Chief Engineer Olsen? Uh... Nope. Ensign Rizzo. The others are dead. Um... Ensign, not Ensign? Alright, Ensign Rizzo. Well, at least we got 31 gallons of water, guys. Yep. Neat. Not gonna be able to reclaim those barrels, though. I'm literally deleting them. You'll never see them again. <laughs> um, oh, they will forever live in my spreadsheet, don't you worry. Just in case. <laughs> I need to make a potion of hydration right. or something. The uh, the boy is pr is pretty interested with these uh, monsters. Like He really wants to see them. So when you're like hacking them apart, you know, he's like wide eyed like a child would be like, whoa, look at its teeth. We'll let him play, play around with it. Mm -hmm. He pries out a tooth, keeps it. I crack open the skull and just start eating the brains out raw. Right. You know, right. He thinks he totally thinks you're a fucking weirdo, but like he doesn't say anything. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I give him. I harvest our the barbs and I hand them to the boy as weapons. <laughs> That's a lot of barbs. How many barbs does these things have? Twenty-three each. Oh wow! Of course, they shot some, but if you're like gonna pick them all up, they have twenty-three <laughs> each. All the ones that haven't been fired off of its tail yet. Right. So I'll say even forty. But they shot quite a few at you guys. It was three around for each of them. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, we'll say you can find like 30. Okay. Some of them maybe are lost. It's probably not going to live long enough to use it. Oh, yeah, I'd like to go collect Then before he starts well. stabbing us a little in our sleep. Some of them were in you. He like grabbed one. Ah! Pull one out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he has nowhere to go with these things. He doesn't have a carrying satchel or anything. He doesn't just have a like a, for a it. stack of these fucking... Just put it on the alpaca. Okay. He puts it on the alpaca. Um, and you guys, you travel the rest of the day. Um, and... Today... Uh, you're, yeah... You're unmolested in the night. It is the 20th of Moon Harvest, and there's a constellation shift. Uh-oh. Um, 
It is... Where is she? Goddess of Shadows and Deceit. Alright. Alright. And... This is gonna be the constellation of Ziltoid. Sorry. Uh, so, you guys wake up. And today is the 20th, and travel... Travel on, travel on. We're gonna get... About like... Uh... Here-ish? Something like that. Okay. Oh, you still want to keep moving? Even though we weren't like all of our rations? On oh, uh, if you guys want to backtrack, let me know. I thought you were just gonna... I mean, there's only one alpaca left in town. Right. Yeah. You could buy one more, but I mean, really, the, you're kind of hitting the edge of your limits here. Eventually, we'll have to go back to collect uh, slick. You might have to go yeah. hunting for them on Tresic Park for new mm -hmm. alpaca supplies. Is that is that where the alpaca roam free? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, along with the Cape Elkwadlosauruses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. So uh, I think we could. Probably, I think we said that Slick would just find us in the desert, right? Yeah, uh, we'll deal with the next session. Yeah. Okay. She'll traverse the mm -hmm. desert alone through Manticore territory. We'll, say, we'll tell her to. We'll use sending to tell her to buy an alpaca yeah. on the way out. Beep, 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 beep. Exactly. Dodge the Manticores. Beep, beep. Also, don't forget an alpaca. Right. Thanks God, we're dying. <laughs> sure. Um. But are you, you are moving on, correct? Yeah. I mean, you still have ammo. Uh, and I... I'm assuming you're subtracting supplies every day, right? Like, I don't need to remind you okay. every single day. I actually day. did forget. Okay. <laughs> well, let's... let's yeah, so, day two out in the wild. So, I need yeah, all right, so. two days worth of food and water yeah. rations for everyone. <laughs> and Swift Bear uses a hit dice. Yes, and I... As well, we'll do the same. Okay. Uh, um. Uh, and I'm not gonna count any rations because we, because I ate so much for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah totally. You ate like a madman. Okay. All right. Um, keep in mind that you're gaining only one hit dice per day in mm -hmm. recovery, so, um, if you use hit dice today, for example, you won't be gaining any, but yeah, you won't lose any either. Yeah. Kind of really good as well. So. Yeah. yeah, it's a, a wash on, uh, fatigue. Both days are light weather. I guess I should be mentioning, I haven't mentioned it because it's, you know, it's been light both days, but um, I will try to continue to remember that as we all I'll try to remember how to play this game. Wait, was I down to health, or did I max <laughs> out before? Yeah, you I took, took I took yes. damage in the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, you gain one hit point back naturally as well today. Yep. Okay. So I'm good then. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, all right. Um no fatigue gained or lost today as you travel. Um and you are unmolested. The night also passes uneventfully, as I've already rolled for these things. And you guys wake up the twenty first to find the weather is not as good as yesterday. Moderate winds, uh, half visibility. It's not great. You can do it. You'll lose fatigue at double rate. 
What do you guys think? Go for it. Fuck it. Uh, I'll hunker down. Yeah? I mean, it's not bad weather, it's just not ideal. So, because we would that's lose one fatigue point, right? That's that's what it's at. It's yeah. It's just gonna be minus one because it's at a rate of minus yeah, two. Yeah. But you're gaining one every day, so yeah. be minus one. I mean, I say we yellow. All right. Okay. Um, let's see how far we move today. You'll get. I don't know. I said it was gonna be four days of travel, so we'll say it's like here-ish or whatever. Um Do I have to eat rations today? I guess. Yeah. Yeah, Same we'll need rations you. for this is day three. Uh we're gonna we'll call it in a minute. I, I wanna at least get us to our destination before mm -hmm. we call it a session. Because you're trying to get to the Coliseum, right? Yeah. So the smallest you. Right. Um, day passes uneventfully you're not harassed night passes it's, it's the 22nd of moon harvest another moderate day and you're gonna travel yep so that's another round of rations that should be two more rounds of rations right for the last two days yep okay uh, and water just remind me to subtract two uh, fatigue points for myself here. Let's okay. See. Uh, I need two fatigue points minus from all of you. Um, and then you get another HP back today as well. If you're missing any. Um, and that will bring us to the Smolosseum. So you travel most of the day. Uh, and then you guys see the sure enough you know signs of ruined society uh, pretty clear and you approach it um, and there's not a whole lot kind of like what she said not a lot to speak of but there is the telltale signs of what looks like a large sh shattered coliseum I assume that you're gonna approach it at least to kind of inspect it this is on the 22nd Right, we arrived. This is the very end of the 22nd, yes. Sorry, that's my cat. I that okay. Okay. It's just like a abandoned, sort of crumbling coliseum. Yeah. But there's like, it's like completely barren. Right. Um, and as you guys enter the coliseum, kind of inspecting it, under the guidance of what your friend Anara had told you previously, you kind of enter the center of the arena, which, you know, at one time was flat with sand, but now has been completely drifted away. And it just slopes down and down and down into this large sinkhole, which at the very bottom you see is a hatch. We go in, boys. Should we camp out here one night? Yeah. Temple of Creed. Should we uh, um, camp out here this evening? And yeah, just take it on tomorrow. Maybe wait to possibly wait for sleep to come. Join us. Okay. Take this on next time. All right. Well, let's say that it'll be twenty third of Moon Harvest. I'll put morning. I'm gonna give myself that. Uh, so that we can deal with this right now. Um, so let's uh, let's deal with it now. Um, the weather is severe. Just so you're aware. Oh, so we're not. I will be traveling nice. today. Yep. Um, but you're right at the you know, entrance of this hatch. Um, if you're missing HP, I will put that I've awarded you that HP, so go ahead and add your HP. 
I'm at 39 HP. Okay. Um. Three hit dice and ten fatigue points. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I don't think we'll deal with anything else more than that. We won't talk about like whether you're gonna rest the whole day or whatever. Uh, we'll deal yeah. with that next session. Um. So. Let's deal with monster experience. Uh, for the combat session. Um, it was. 20. Divided three ways. It's 934 experience for the monsters each. Um. You guys have all that yeah yep um and then let's do another 500 for um you know doing the anara stuff role play and then like finding another important thing in the desert as well as um getting another context clue for clark's destination got some good role play progression there Um, and did anyone complete goals? See. No. No. Captain Panda? Goals? Yeah. No. Maybe, maybe next week. Alrighty. Um, and is there anyone else left to award inspiration to uh, I, I have a spot open for it same as me I he is not this session oh you did okay yeah wait so so, so all three just of Lord By all three of you do need it no I have inspiration oh right. so Byron and I then all right, so I need you guys to vote between Byron and Clark we uh we had Lord Byron taking some pretty good shots with his bow in combat. Mm -hmm. Clark was doing some pretty cool stuff with the flying and the Eldritch Blasts. Uh, that's I guess it, myself. I guess. Okay. You what? He votes for himself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Green. Uh, yeah. Do you want to just say Corwin Green. votes for it then? Sure. Corwin's the tiebreaker? Oh god, this is rough. To me, Lord Byron did do all that cool shit with the bow. He, he was taking some shots. He got. He did get that last shot. He got that last yeah. one down. Six hundred foot range. Pew. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But also, you enabled all that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, Clark did do a little. That. Clark did roll three Constitution uh, passes. In the to, air. To not get us both killed. And didn't drop you like 50, <laughs> 60 feet. <laughs> of course, he did put you in that situation to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Coin says Lord Byron. Alright, All right, Lord Byron, add another point of inspiration to your character sheet yet again. Alright. That's Clark, the, the leader of the benefit. party, apparently the least inspiring character. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I flipped the coin. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Hey, All man, right. The coin um, does not lie. Well, I think that is it for our session this week. Feels mm -hmm. good to be back. Thanks for playing. Go, man. And uh, hopefully we'll all be back together uh, once again next oh, you week. Do, so. You do need to add four alpacas to the graves of the lost. I'll, I'll see what I can do. All right, have a good night. Four camels and two, Becca. All right. Bye-bye. Good night, guys.